somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't ya? <laughs> Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. Informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Boar, Spy Corps King of Covert Capers. Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. When I get this rocket-powered origami skateboard put together, I'm going to shred out of here. That did it! Now I'm rocket-powered and ready for action! A giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the Super Spy magnifying glass to see it. Did you, did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Play-Doh Pushpin. 
Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was thus known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Cybox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already, have already set up mobile command center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Somewhere, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So, this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. That's the musical code that will get me into mobile command. What a cool jukebox! Now that's music! Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the mobile command center to new heights, Monkey Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol aerosol man. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. A spy bowling ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How does you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Can I, can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you.
This bowling bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy. That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the change the name anytime I want. I might need that bowling shirt. I'd better take it with me. Now this is a fashion statement, and it's saying, hey, look at me, I'm a bowler. That's my new super... That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. right. Are you the, the book member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. There's something fishy going on here, and it's not my deodorant. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! He must have pushpin! Don't let him get away! No! Oh, he got away! No matter! It is too late now! Now, Pam! Ace! Back to the factory! It's time to run to really heat the place! Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a ten pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chickle. Chickle. Chickle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One prickly pear pizza! A freshwater pearl farmed only in the lake! And the final item I need, I need is the asshole particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself! The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my keycard to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back. The Grappling Granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. 
Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with, playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Rustbuster. What's the what's the big news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. A spy toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. Quack must have must have fixed the Trans Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's cosmetics factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. Red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's P. P. The Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. P.M., I'm in desperate need of one of your prickly pear pizzas. I'm afraid the shop was burglarized last night, and you'll never guess what they guess what they took. Well, the way things are going, I guess all your prickly pears. That's right. And the only clue they left behind was a torn piece of pink cloth. But if you brought me a prickly pear, I'd be happy to make you a pizza with it. With it. I can use this talk balloon to gather information on where to find a prickly pear. Hello, my name is Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to save... My name is Cookie! I'm a Cookie Scout! That's a great megaphone. Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! What kind of potential customers? Potential cookie buyers! I only have to sell three more boxes of cookies. cookies. Get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike! Completely tricked out with foot pegs! Banana style saddle, alligator grip, the thing in the handlebars that tells time. 
Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? No, I'm a spy. But I tell you what, I'll help you sell your sell your key so you can get that bike. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. Thanks, Mr. Spy! Here you go! No problem. Why, I remember with... Now get selling! Can I interest you in some luscious lemon li lemon listies? Luscious lemon listies. Sure, I'll take a box. It's, ama it's amazing how they get such a lemony flavor without using any lemons. On behalf of half of the Cookie Scouts, thanks, sport. You're welcome. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. All right, Granny, do your stuff. I cracked the code. Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Then I can get in there and get that chickle. That looks like the ancient ruin of Chickle Pichu. It is, and it's full of chickle right now. Full of chickle. Hello, 
My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Oh, Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying Chickle for my PhD in Gummatology. But some pink clad pranksters locked all of the Chickle inside Chickle P2. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly, please. And use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and you and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the and about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Would you like to buy some delicious coconut curry crunches? Oh, I sure would. I love coconut curry crunches. They have the perfect mix of coconut, curry, curry, and crunch. Ah, the lake. The freshwater pearl farm must be on that platform out in the middle. Hello! Could you give me a ride out to the pearl farm? Haven't caught a single fish all day, day! Not even a nibble! He didn't understand a word I said. I need something to project my voice with so he can hear me better. is some freaky chef. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Blue powdered pussycat shadow. That must be some kind of code phrase. If only I knew what the correct response was. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's Cosmetic Factory for you. For you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists, such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. You're looking sharp, Pins. Ah! It must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, Pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Today. Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counter phrase. Ingenious. And it has all the latest designer colors too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. Plan B.
Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met? We met before. I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's B. B Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, B. I will. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? Never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy, good guy spy, and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, B. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts? The one and only. Of course I'll buy a box. They're so full of honey baked beet goodness. I can't stand it. the water into this calm little reservoir. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. Now there's a fine looking one. Yow! And it certainly is prickly for a pear. So long! Maybe we'll pair up again sometime. I can now get the prickly pear pizza pushpin needs for the congeal pill. I wish my tux had a prickly pear pocket protector. This thing smarts.
There you are, cookie. I sold all the Cookie Scout cookies you gave me to sell. Hot bananas! Now I can get my very own official Cookie Scout stud bike completely tricked out with foot tags, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and that thing on the handle which tells time! Bye, Mr. Bye! <laughs> Gee, kids are so cute. Loud, but cute. No one will misunderstand me when I use this little baby. Here you are, Pia, a juicy prickly pear fresh from the desert. Can you bake me one of your special prickly pear pizzas now? Of course, I'll have that ready before you can say... Hooray for Hollywood! There you are, Mr. Fox. Freshly baked prickly pear pizza with extra simulated cheese. Mmm, yummy for your tummy. Thank you, Pia. Yep, yeah, it's just what the scientist ordered. You mean doctor? No, I actually do mean scientist. Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. Only a matter of hours, my special blend of air and of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then be then be relentlessly down upon the Earth. <laughs> the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen. Poodle's brand SPF 2001. I will not only be the queen, be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm starting to shine. Play-Doh Pushpin's key card worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. The spy ear. Sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. A sticky stun bun. How does this caramel caramel collection work, Quack? 
You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun button goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today! your megaphone there, there. My name's Herman. That's okay. My friend Cookie was done with it. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to... Hop aboard. I haven't got all day. Farm. I'm getting close to that pearl now. Could you take me back to shore, Herman? Climb aboard. Thanks, Herman. Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Blue Powdered Pussycat Shadow. Pressing that button accessed a counter code phrase. Scratch when slighted. Scratch when slighted. Here's the amulet. Be careful at the foot and don't fall into the wrong hands. Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as as well as the amulet to get into Chickle Beat you. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day.
It's hot here. It's not so much the heat as it is the humidity. The amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you better, you bad blades. Quack's Instant Oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster and I am a spy, so here goes. I have my piece of chickle. It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy. Uh-oh. That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. As a teenager, I I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. All of which were far superior to the me to the me brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of top of cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Every, everyone either based themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say,
I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, R.O. Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Psst, Spy Fox, over here. Eh, eh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations with a safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of itchy lip lotion as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> a combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. Here's where my notes go. Diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device otherwise known as a wig-making machine. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a yellow bouffant, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Thanks for the heads up, Roger. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged out machine can make. That's a mullet style wig. a Buffon style wig. I think I'll make this wig. Now this wig really makes a statement. I'll just keep it in my pocket and pocket until I need it. Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. A 
that wig wasn't well received. It seems the accessory on my wig is incorrect. Well, this little fashion faux pas won't stop this spy for long. Talk about Harry Scary. Would you mind repeating what the hair of the day is? Sure, Spy Fox. The hair of the day is a yellow bouffant, font, accented with a delightful butterfly accessory. Got it. Thanks for the hairy information. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. That's a butterfly accessory. I think I'll see how I look in this wig. Hey, you wig napper! Oh, oh, I only need one wig anyway. This wig should make a good disguise. I'll keep it safe until I need it. Talk about a bad hair day. My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> the sticky stun bun worked! Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. It's the safe containing the key to... That crazy combination worked! I've got the key to, key to Poodle's rocket ship! No safe is safe with this spy around! I hope Monkey Penny doesn't see me like this. I'd never hear the end of it. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. The duck fly, duck fly. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the duck blind on like a hat, and it renders you invisible to all ducks. This I've got to see. Hey, hey, Quack, what's for dinner? Well, I was... What? Hey, who said that? Out of sight, sight! This should come in handy.
the Spy Pearl Detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. pearl. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. about a lift out to the pearl farm, Herman? Why not? Fish aren't biting anyway. was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. Better not let him see me. Let's just see how that malicious mallard likes Professor Quack's duck blind gadget. Duck blind, don't fail me now. I walk right past that gog, gog. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerve center. In other words, he didn't, he didn't see me. I'm in the oyster house, but, but look at that mountain of mollusks. I'm going to need help picking a pearl out of this pile. The pearl detector will pinpoint a pearl for me in no time. Okay, Oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. Hmm. Eureka! I've got the pearl Plato pushed to needs for his congeal pill. On Poodle's Galore's Aerosol Space Station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety-mucks of the cosmetic industry. Sable Keen, the, the, the boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume, You de Q. Thank you for coming, darling. I invited you here today because together you represent the cover...
I mean the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, now, you have to become the cosmetic suppliers of the stars. Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posters out of my pink poodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination. Could I trouble you for a ride back to shore, Herman? No trouble at all. Oh. Thanks, Herman. Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. We have liftoff! The key worked! I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil! Sweet sabotage! Look at the size of that aerosol abomination! I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn! APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. I hope Monkey Penny doesn't see me like this. I'd never hear the end of it. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin... Tickle from the heart of the jungle. The aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from the orbiting aerosol can itself. A prickly pear pizza. A, a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. Then I'll have found all the ingredients to make the congeal pill to stop the orbiting, a orbiting aerosol can.
What made you go into cosmetic rocketry? At the time, it was a wide open field. Now, every kid on the internet is into it. It's a prick, it's a prick. Well, I risk bee sting and scalding hot cheeks, but I've got the prickly pear pizza. Push pin! That was a vital ingredient for the congeal pill. Yes! Without the pizza's nourishing qualities, I would have collapsed with hunger. Now all I need is Chickle from the heart of the jungle. A freshwater pearl found only in the only in the oysters of the lake. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the chickle pushpin. Ah, the chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal peel peel. Now all I need is a freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill! I had to muscle this pearl out of a selfish shellfish. But here you are, Pushpin. What a super... Pearl, pearl, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is the the APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself, and then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spyfoot. That is the final ingredient. Now I can finish the congeal pill pill. Mr. Spy Fox, you must toss this pill, pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take, should take with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. Also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile stencil wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal.
Yuck! Talk about a bad hair day. Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps... I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle food. Keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack and Quack's Wisp Spy Knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the conge conge pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. Time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? Oh! Uh, how do you like them apples, poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole, the whole thing is a Let Poodles get away! Get away! A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Not so fast, Poodles galore!
my box! Forest field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical! A fingernail recognition device. Uh oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Min Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the, the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. Have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. one. into the same room that Poodles went into. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. I need to enter the code correctly to open that door. Open the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's Moon Base Control Center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. There's there's room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing, spy style. Ow! Oh! Oh! The humanity! Oh! <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug plug that powder puff first. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Cultivated yet boorish.
that perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious. That perfume bottle was really a dyotic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. was just a little powder. The the Danix Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's powder puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base base. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. It's a close-up of Poodles Galore's fingernails. I need to paint mine exactly like hers so I can deactivate the force field. This looks like an automated fingernail painting machine. How with the This allows me to pick which color to paint my orange. Yellow. That painted my fingernails and they look pretty. Yellow moons. I'm high styling now. It worked. Now to m to muddle that poodle for good. Monkey Penny, the force field is down. Stick 'em. Be that's by fa by fa. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, hey, that's my... Oh, never, never mind. What is going on? Oh, the jump that turned the force to force off! I'm that, that, poodles. You again! Good time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle? Poodle. So fast, Poodles. My nail! My nail! Oh, pretty big, piggly wig! <gasps> My nail! Wasn't even the press on kind. I am hideous. Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the spy play possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the limp biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the dead fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired.
his life where danger dwell well he spends his days in peril he gets the clues to solve the crime he always helps his fellow man he has the gadget to make you make Restart. Quit. <laughs> 